Don't you recognize me? It's me, Hold Xavier. I just look like this, but eight years from now, I'm going to get hit with the age stick harder than a fucking coronavirus. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for X-Men Dark Phoenix. I actually did not see this movie in theaters. In fact, it is the only X-Men movie I never saw in theaters. I saw every single one. The Deadpools, the Logans, all the way back to the first movie. I saw the first film in the theaters when I was a kid, so I was 10 years old. I didn't see this one. It looked like that much of a garbage shit rag to me. The amount of delays that this film went through, it went over, if I'm correct, an entire year of delays due to reschedules and reshooting horrible opening audience sort of receptions. They even had to change the ending because apparently it was too similar to that of Captain Marvel. Despite all of those reshoots, all of that delays, all of those rewrites and whatnot, you think they would have written something better than a shit heap. This movie is the worst X-Men movie in the entire association of the X-Men films. I'm including Apocalypse, I'm including Origins of Wolverine. This movie is horrible on every single level almost. It somewhat starts off at least a little bit promising because the opening sequence is kinda cool. There is some decent sort of dramatism to it. The music makes it sound like it's the end of the movie, like the final cliffhanger, it's so dramatic. It's kind of interesting how the mutants are called up from the president to come and save these space astronauts in space. For this very small amount of time, you kind of realize that they are trying to emulate the 90s cartoon so, so fucking badly. And then after that, it just falls to shit. The acting is horrible from everyone. I'm not just including the young kids. I'm not including Sophie Turner. Hers is somehow worse than the last one, but everyone is giving nothing. Two of the worst performances in this is James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender because they're doing the same fucking character for the fourth goddamn time. James McAvoy is this strange amalgamation of Patrick Stewart trying to sound like him, trying to walk like him, trying to have mannerisms like him, except he looks like himself. He doesn't look old, so it doesn't make sense. His voice just, uh, it just, it's weird. The entire time James McAvoy is in the movie, you can see he is trying so hard to sound like Patrick Stewart. It just comes off as laughable. It comes off as so bad that it makes the horrible wig he's wearing in the scenes with hair look good. Michael Fassbender just looks like he's asleep the whole fucking movie. He just wants us the end. The only time that he puts any sort of effort into it is when it looks like he's having some sort of Dragon Ball Z Saiyan orgasm when he's trying to hold a helicopter down while Gene Gray's going and the effects. Shit, again, with the amount of delays that this film had, you would think that they put some money into the goddamn effects. What a joke. A lot of these look like PS2 graphics. The only time that it maybe looked a little good was the very, very end and the very, very beginning. But aside from that, this movie is a disaster. They should not have given it to Simon Kinberg. The fact that they gave this movie to a first-time director, sure, he had been producing and writing these movies for the last little while, but this guy probably totally knew that Brian Singer was diddling kids and didn't do anything about it. Marvel owns them now, so hopefully they will just wipe this slate clean and they will bring them into their own. But what a joke. Like, what a joke of a movie, guys. I can't believe it's this bad. It was entertainingly bad, but it was still shit. X-Men Dark Phoenix gets a 1 out of 7. Like, I thought Apocalypse was kind of just like, oh, that's unfortunate that it's going to end there. And then they did this, and it's like, oh. Anyways, guys, if you like this review, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.